What about the potential energy? The potential energy should be the energy that is stored in this fluid when that is compressed by delta L, amount of delta L. Okay. And I apply the pressure P and pressure P over here. P0, I should do P0 plus P. How much energy that can be stored? OK, if I draw the graph P versus delta L, and I said minus delta L to express the compression, OK, plus delta L is el elongation. Then increased pressure will increase delta L linearly, right? So the work done, work done due to this excess pressure will induce the increase of potential energy it has to be the area under this curve because if you look at some small element over here then this is the amount of elongation you have and this is the pressure you applied okay that is worked on so accumulated work done has to be one half P minus delta L. Right? And the the Potential energy, that is energy per unit volume, so per unit volume is the volume I have is S times L, and work done is what? P multiply minus delta L or half because I am considering the area okay and that, that the force is multiplied by S therefore I have this is a P uh, one half minus delta L over L. That is potential energy density. Okay? So that we have to put L over there. And now we have notation delta L and L, and we want to convert this term somehow to P or rho or U, that is the parameter we have been handling. Right? How to do it? Then we can use the conservation law, conservation of mass. That says 
the mass before this fluid element is compressed would be what? Rho S L. That is the total mass of the fluid. Then it is compressed and how much how much mass we will get? That is rho this I should say rho zero and the rho is changed from rho zero to rho plus rho and that is the density and the area is the same because we are considering one dimensional case and the length is shortened by okay and this is good because I can say this is a plus because I assume that delta minus delta L is compression therefore I will have increase of rho if you don't like to use minus, then you have to use minus over here. Okay, that has to be same due to conservation of mass. text says this is us. I don't know why. Okay, let's move on. Then what we have over here is S go away. And I have rho zero L minus delta L rho zero and plus rho L and minus rho delta L. And obviously this one, the small and the small, therefore neglected. And this one and this one go away. And I have rho L is equal to delta L rho zero. Therefore, I can say that the delta L over L has to be same as uh, rho zero over rho. And then Potential energy density is one half P excess pressure and then rho over rho zero and I use uh, P over rho is a C square then uh, means that uh, rho, uh, rho is P over C square, so I have that is 1 over P square over rho zero C square. That is potential energy except the minus and plus sign. Okay? <laughs> 